This is Earl Gibb, and you're listening to Sunny Breeze. Kick back or sit normally and relax. Hello and welcome to City Skylines. So Paradox and Colossal Water have just released two new DLCs. One is the train station and the other one is the bridge and piers. I have another video about the train stations, but this one is mainly focused on what's new for the bridge and piers DLC. So what you're seeing here on the screen is basically everything that's being added to the bridge and piers and i quite like it i don't know if like it's not a game changer I, I think the train stations it's much better than this one but it adds some uh new looking options for you to, to use in your game and i can see that some of these options i be definitely i'll definitely be using in my city so starting with the bridge here we have seven new draft bridges, which are these seven over here we have three train new bridges and two new pedestrian bridges so let's look closer to the um traffic bridge or car bridge and this looks quite cool it's nice to see that we also have some space for pedestrian here some bridges they don't have pedestrian access which is not nice but this one has which is quite good we also have the pillars underneath here that look quite well let's just change the light a little bit so we can actually see that slightly better there we go we have some more light going down there and we can see what this looks like uh, color here is this nice green which it's different so i quite like that and we also have this four-way road here uh, that it's quite nice i like the pedestrian uh the sidewalks in here the texture here is much better than previous ones and the road also looks pretty cool by the way all the roads look uh, a little bit darker because i use a mod that changed the color of all the roads in my city uh, just so it looks I, I think it looks nicer having the darker color uh, asphalt and yeah you may see that a little bit different on yours if you have that mod or if you don't have it at all and the pillars there have a pretty nice brick texture as well that goes really nicely with this bridge and I like the fence it has a different uh, it's different from that one that one is just like vertical uh, metal posts and this one has some really really nice details that i really like which is completely different from this other one which is the six uh lane two-way road and yeah this i i don't remember how this is called but this is like uh, made by uh, cement and this is quite nice actually and again, the texture for the sidewalk is different and is quite nice. So I like that. I just don't know why the end here doesn't follow the same texture, which is a little bit weird, but like this one, right? This goes around and then you have this just concrete uh, bit at the end, which makes sense. But this one doesn't, this one does have the same texture, it's just an interesting choice there um the pillar oh this is quite nice actually you have all these details in here and on the supporting pillars as well which is 
really, really nice. I like it. And then we go to this other road here, which is a two-way road. And I think this is one of my favorites. And I like the pathway. I like that the pillars there, that is this extra space, which you can use as an, uh, a lookout on the bridge, which is quite nice. I like the archways. I uh, This is probably for uh, boats that are coming through. So have some signs in there, which is, yeah, this looks quite nice. I really like it. And we also have this other one. Um, I think this is the sixth bridge. And oh, look at that. I don't know how I feel about, about this pillar here, but I like this one. What happened here? There we go. Uh, but then these archways, I like the way they look. But this is a kind of a plain looking bridge. I yeah, it, it's okay, just okay. Now this one, I like the brick pathway in there. This is a much larger road as well. And oh, look at that. These details, they are quite nice. I really like the archways, the pillars, and these details above the pillars. And the fence over here looks pretty cool as well. Yeah, I, I like this one. Now for this one, some you have some uh, car protection on both sides here. This is... Is this a one-way road? I think it is. Let's take a look. Yeah. So this is the only one-way road that we have. Okay, which is interesting and makes sense. And yeah, some texture in here, which adds to it. The pillar is it's a little bit more plain looking, but I think it's meant to be like that. This is a highway road and I, I think it makes sense. It's much better than the plain one. And I'll probably be using this uh, around the city. Now moving to the train bridge, we have some quite interesting looking bridge here. We have this support for the cables in there. The bridge is a nice painted blue. We have these nice brick pillars and this is just one track. So interesting choice there. You have to build to, to make like both ways going in and back again which I think it makes it looks a little bit more interesting. The same way with this one, but then you don't have the protection on the sides. Oh, this is quite scary to, <laughs> to get a train over here, but it's, it's pretty interesting looking. And pillars, nice bricks over there, some details underneath the, the bridge. And yeah, you have the same support that you have over there. And this looks quite good. And the final one, it's one that actually have uh, a two-way train line or train tracks in there. And this actually looks pretty cool, actually. I think this could blend very well and it's much more modern than the other two. And with like the concrete pillar in there. And yeah, it looks good. I like that they're using probably gravel in here and yeah nice nice one i like that one and then we have the two pedestrian bridges this one is quite large which i think works and there is a nice pillar with uh, support in here that looks perfect for some tourist place and yeah i think i can see where i could use those uh, and that'll be quite nice actually and this one, it's a much older looking pedestrian bridge. And as you can see, you have the bricks over there. You have these old style fence and the wood planks going across, which is quite nice. I, I like those pedestrian bridges. They are quite nice. Now, these are all the traffic bridges and pedestrian bridges. What I'll do, I will delete some of those um, just for the sake of us seeing what's underneath there because we do have the um, eight keys and two piers that we have to take a look at that. 
So I think we can start with the peers, right? We have these two peers over here. This one, you have people, both of them actually, you have people walking in here. This one, you have also people walking over here. This one, you don't. So the way you can see that is if we can pick that, you see those arrows in there that indicates where pedestrians can walk. So this is this one, this is that one, which is quite nice. Then you have this one, which you can only have people walking at the top. There is no difference at all from the way it looks from this one, where you can have pedestrian walking underneath. The only thing that you need is some way to get people in there, and you can use these ones with the stairs that we will take a look very shortly. And then you have the simple city key fenceless, and you have the simple city key that you have fence. So this is the difference over there. So let me look at this like this. This one is the fenceless, and some park just level up in the city. And this one is the one with the fence, which is quite nice, give you some protection. Depend like if a place like this that's pretty tall, then it's good to have that, and that makes a lot of sense. So moving on to the next one, which is this one. And again, this one, although you have this space in here, you can only have pedestrians walking over there. The next one, which is this one, you can have pedestrians walking uh, underneath. And then you start to getting with a way to get people access. So this one, you can still only have people walking at the top. This is just for the looks. And if you look at this one, they look exactly the same. You can have people actually walking through here. So I like the way it looks. The longer you do the, uh, the, the segment in there, the, they stretch the uh, the stairs so you can play around with this and make it look nice uh, you have this fence over here as well and that's the same you have an option just walking at the top you have an option walking at the bottom and then we have uh, the two final ones which is the seawall fenceless which is this one as you can see no fence there and the option with the fence that goes all the way over here so you can play around a lot of these. I, I like that the fence for them look quite nice. I love the options that you can use for people to actually walk uh, closer to the water here. I think this is something that we're missing. That's fantastic. I like the textures for the wall over there. Give you some options to play around. And I like these two piers. Uh, Especially this one, where you can also have people walking in here. This one is also a nice addition that you, we can probably and we will probably pr play around with this and try some different things. But yeah, I think this will be uh, will give you some nice new options. So, what do you think about all these new bridges and keys and uh, pedestrian, train, traffic? Uh, options there. Let me know in the comments. Uh, also, leave a like if you enjoyed this little overview on the new Bridge and Piers DLC. Consider subscribing to my channel so you can see how we use it and how we grow the cities that we are working on. I currently have two series, um, Let's Play series on my channel. This series that we are looking here is one of them. This is called Atlantic City and we are only using self-sufficient buildings all across the, the city and the other one is Arch City which um, we are trying to go as green as possible but using a mix of buildings and having fun uh, especially with parks in that city like we have parks everywhere and it has been a lot of fun building all that so you start seeing uh, me using some of these options across these two cities and I think we can have a lot of fun with that. So thanks and I'll see you in the next one.
Bye bye.